I think we're on. Ladies and gentlemen, from salons around the country, gotta be hundreds, gotta be thousands, gotta be ten thousands, and then from all over the world, it's Thursday night, MC, FB, TNT Live, time to make Big Boom Boom! <laughs> Folks, getting ready to leave the dock, I'm gonna wait a few minutes, don't wanna leave you bad boys behind. Gosh, I've been looking so forward to hanging out with you tonight. Been working my you-know-what off this morning to uh, prepare for you. Going to wait a few minutes for my buds to come. Uh, I'm going to, I'm, I'll call the cops. It'll bring you guys, right? Oh, whoa, Summer Bronson, you're already here. Shannon Woosley. What, Shannon, were you just waiting for me to come to, to see you tonight? Amber, Amber's here, then that means I can go to work. If Amber's here, man, listen, it's just, oh, I just love hanging out with you guys. Got just got a great show for you. And who else? Maria, you, hello, Maria, come on in. Let's get Maria. Hey, uh, let's get Maria a big hand, will you? Judy's in the house also. Judy, come on in. Send me some love, man. I need some love. Get me energized. Get me inspired. We got a good show tonight. Barbie, you're in the house, Nova Scotia. Barbie, it's 10 o'clock your time, man. You're like, what is it, two, two and a half hours ahead of us. Come on in. Help me make big, make big, big boom boom tonight. Um, I need your Barbie to help me. Carla, come on and help me to uh, lead the charge, Carla. Please, let's lead the charge together, man. I'm telling you what, who else is coming to see me tonight? I'm just so excited that uh, all day long, I've got, I can't use my favorite camera tonight, but that's okay. I got FB Live's camera. You can see, you like the new colors? I'm starting to figure it out a little bit so that you can see it happening. Who else? Judy Hall's in the house. Love your energy too, Judesters. Come on in. Let me see, Judy, let's make sure that the damn monkeys aren't driving the bus. Summer Bronson, you should do a contest for tickets for your Tampa, Florida Summit program. Oh, you, I know you. You're trying to con me into giving you a freebie. You're going to have to talk to uh, Salon Century for that. Roy, come on in. Oh, you want to help me make Big Boom Boom tonight, Roy? All right, baby. How, how we doing? Three minutes after the hour. Going to take another swig of water because we got a lot to do tonight. Lynn Winslow's in the house. Linsters, come on. Hey, Lynn, do me a favor, will you? Call the cops. Call the cops. I need them out because I'll tell you what. Uh, Summer, I'll tell ya, the freaking elephant's in the uh, living room, um, uh, um, so we gotta really get go to work, right? Oh, you're sending me some love, you're sending me some energy, so, I don't know, if you're on the boat, you're on the boat, I gotta go to work, so, boats leaving the station, we got about four after, I figure I got about 20 minutes of your undivided attention, and then those of us that have attention deficit hyper disorder, we're going to be done. So let's go to work. My program tonight, number 30. We're doing the 30th episode tonight. We've got 29 under our belt. Kathy Singer, come and see me. Summer says, yeah, you. Um, and uh, I'm going to start this series. I think it's going to be a few series because it's probably one of the more important topics behind the chair if you're going to make big boom boom. We're going to call it consultations that blast your pay. Part one, and um, tonight, oh, and as we get to, uh, as we get to that, I want to uh, really just make sure you do a quick drive-by of this stuff here, where you're, you know, watch the previous 29 episodes. Um, you can get them on Summit Salon, Michael Cole YouTube page. Um, get over the top the book because over the, we're going to be really drawing on more and more of this as we, as I take you on the ride, lots of scripts in there that you're going to need. Make damn sure that you got your summit planner because as I said in the previous episodes, We've had uh, um, more and more of the planners now are not just planning on who's coming in to see us, but they've been turned into uh, daily, weekly window worksheets. Jennifer Boudwell, come on in from down in New Orleans. Melissa, you're in the house. Summer Bronson, come in. Uh, help me lead the charge, will you? Now, um, if, you, if you're not using your uh, tracking planner, make sure you do that. And by the way, you can get all of this on Summit Salon 
Dot-com. I'm not going to take time tonight to uh, show you where to get that. Read the, pre uh, watch the previous episodes if you're new to uh, to the ride. And then uh, we we talked about this last week, a couple weeks ago. I want to make sure we hit it again. If you haven't already begun to turn your friend pages into business pages so that you can begin to boost your post. Boy, that the last, yeah, I think it was 20, episode 27, 28, 29 was all about that best social media practices. Do that. And then uh, last but certainly not least, you need to start updating your damn mobiles. I'm getting more and more of you are telling me, Michael, I don't have any more app uh, room on my mobile device for another app. I got news for you. You got really minimal storage. So you need to up the amp on your storage. Heck, uh, Apple just came out with their new devices. I know Droid is too. So make sure that you make that as an investment and get going, getting going. All right, I think we're ready for the class. Let's go to work. Last week, we gave you a chart. It's our, gonna be our new chart. We're gonna take it into 2017. It's kind of our goal chart. First year behind the chair. We now have best practices that gets a first year stylish, first full year to $40,000 on a W-2. That's including uh, gratuities. Then second year, we wanna go to 60,000. Third year, we wanna go to 70,000. Now, I don't want you to get freaked out about all the goal setting. Let's shoot for that, knowing that wherever we land is gonna be in a much better place than would be any otherwise. Melissa, the main love salon was live today. I know, I saw you, Melissa. Summer Bronson, 64G, Summit was the first step, damn right. Thank you, Melissa, uh, thank you, Summer. Give, her a, give it up for Summer. <laughs> All right, we introduced you to also kind of our table of contents that are gonna finish the rest of the year with this table and we're gonna bring it in the next year. I'm gonna launch it at Symposium. This now has become our map of uh, uh, our, our map on, on the ride we're gonna take you on. This whole idea that if we're going to hit these numbers, we need to be ninjas. We need to be nin hair ninjas. We need to be money ninjas. We need to be guest savvy ninjas. We need to be mobile device and social media ninjas. And every episode I'm going to do is going to be giving you best practices to make you uh, b bring your ninja-ness up. Sarah, good to see you too. Come on in. Now, uh, tonight, focused, guest savvy, part one. Here's what I want to, uh, this is all going to be about, again, consultations that blast your pay, a.k.a. also known as uh, changing the conversation. My good friend Heather Bagby and Dave Kirby, they do this wonderful thing called intelligent burbage, and they're always talking about uh, changing up the con conversation. Hey, nothing changes if nothing changes. So if I'm not making the money that I'm making, one of the places that I'm going to look is the conversations I'm having with my guests. Who else is in the house? Michelle Noss, hey, good, good to see you too. Jenny, Jenny, come on in, sit down. Looking forward to the summit in Parisburg. So, so am I, Jen. Come on in. We were just uh, making big boom boom. All right. And and what we're going to want to be doing is I'm, as I take you on the ride is shifting and balancing uh, the conversation. So where are we? First point I want to make. Here are some talking points that I want you to think about anytime you have a guest or a client and you're they're down for a 45-minute appointment, 60-minute appointment, 30-minute appointment, 90 minute, but it makes no difference. When you really think about it, you're engaging your guest in two, how many two conversations. We're gonna call one of them casual and we're gonna call the other formal. And what we wanna do is become a hell of a lot more mindful of which one of those two conversations we're in at any point in time. Why? Because what we're mindful of, we can control. What we're not mindful of controls us. So we want to be controlling the conversation rather than being controlled by the conversation, right? So who else? Jan J Janika K finally caught you on live. Come on in, Miss uh, Jessica. You can uh, catch up too on the other FB lives as well. Vera, come on in as well. All right, now I want to start with casual. Casual conversations are any conversations that are just that. They're casual where you're socializing with your client. It's a friendly conversation. And it, it could, could include something like, you know, weddings are notorious for being part of casual. Uh, vacations, weddings, family, children, favorite restaurant, TV shows, movies, pets. Sometimes we call it small talk. It's really not small talk because it's important. Casual conversations are essential because they establish. Listen closely, you're going to miss it. I work very, very fast. They establish 
per, a personal connection between you and your guests. It establishes a commonality where you and your guests through sharing that part of your personal life. Now, you don't have to get heavy and get dark. Just keep it light. But the, all of a sudden, you're getting to know them as a person. They're getting to know you as a person. That establishes commonality. We got something in common. The other thing that it does is it builds rapport. Now, why is that important? Because we need personal connections and commonality and rapport because that's the on-ramp for building an awesome clientele. Oh, I hope you heard that. Now, I want to take you to the second conversation, what we call the formal conversation, conversations that are professional. So think professional conversations. And it could be anything like, um, I'm, 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 my client is in my chair, my guest is in my chair. I want to engage them in a conversation whereby we both land on a look that we both can get excited about and we're going to evolve that look uh, over the next several visits. That's not a casual conversation. That's more of a formal professional con. We're not talking about children. We're not talking about vacations. We're talking about your guest's favorite subject themselves, their hair, and how they can look beautiful. They'll sit in your freaking chair till hell freezes over to have you engage in a conversation to look better. Now, as you engage them in that part, it gets even deeper and richer. Now you're going to begin as you get into uh, selling them on a look, stop cutting hair and start creating looks. In that, in that conversation, you're going to start recommending services. What? Services that they need that they're not scheduled for that you're going to need to create that look later. On. And that's another professional formal conversation. We're not talking about vacations now. We're talking about their hair. Then we're going to be getting in and teaching the client, our guest, how to recreate the look every day between the time they leave and they come back four, five, six weeks later because that, that makes their experience at home as extraordinary as in the salon. The other, and again, that's a formal conversation. That's not casual. Where that, that there's an intensity in that. You're teaching them. They're your student. What else do we want to have? Melissa, uh, good to have you here. Gina, okay, come in. Uh, Teresa, ba uh, B, come on in. Love the information. Th I love it too, Teresa. Love all the info, Michael. So do I. Let's make big, big boom, boom together. The other part of formal conversation is um, rebooking. We're not talking about children and favorite restaurants when I'm having a conversation with my client, my guest, about why it's important for us to see each other inside of a four-week window so we can stand on the shoulders of what we're creating today. And then uh, referral, assuming that my guest really enjoys not only the creation, but the experience that they had, I want to have a conversation to see, is there any other like-minded people? in their family, their work life, that come in that would be as interested in making the investment, the commitment in the work I do so that they can look a lot better. Do you see the difference between the two, between cash and between formal? Now, um, formal conversations are important for two reasons. As far as the guest is concerned, it gives the guest an extraordinary experience. So it's about extraordinary experiences for the guest. You're, you're welcome, Wendy. Um, and and the other thing that it does for you is formal conversations are important because they fuel explosions in your pay. This is the win-win. It's a mutual benefit. Now, what we want to begin to really see is that in any given point in time, when you're having a conversation with your guests, you cannot not have a conversation. You're either in casual or you're informal. And this next idea is about helping you to balance the two. And I want to give you the first of many warnings. Warning. Red, red alert, baby. Listen closely. Too much of a casual conversation, too much casualness leads to casualty. So you want to be casual enough to... Uh, to be friendly. I call it being client friendly, being guest friendly without befriending your client. There's a big difference between being guest client friendly, which you want to do. That's part of the casual social 
personal interpersonal part of the ride. But the minute you befriend them, the game changes. All of a sudden, you start feeling creepy having professional conversations or formal conversations because those are the conversations that require your guest, your client, to spend more money. Which brings me to show me someone that has um, two price lists. So you know, I should say, show me someone that has been befriending their guests over time, over the years. I'll show you someone that has two price lists. They got a price list for friends who used to be their clients. Barb Horseman, 80 formal now, uh, 20 casual. Absolutely. I've had four people come in uh, off a, a Groupon uh, for Brazilian blowouts and have pre-booked and added. So she, she knows. Jackie, I saw your picture on social media. You're beautiful. I love it. Now, two price lists. If it show me someone that's befriending clients rather than being friendly, I'll show you two price lists. They got the price list for, they got the prices that they charge their friends who used to be their clients, and they've got the price list of clients that they haven't befriended yet. So you see the difference? And so what you can, what will happen over time, it's the second cautionary. Red alert, baby. Red alert that, um, that if you're not careful, you will accidentally fall into this dilemma where you've got a bigger need to make friends, a bigger need to be liked, a bigger need to be casual than you do to make money. And then you'll get to a place. This is the third cautionary. Third cautionary note is you, it's really possible. I see it all the time in my classes where you get so booked up with your friends, which are low tickets because you're giving friendly discounts and freebies that you have no time left to make money. There's no time left in your book. You're crammed, rammed, jammed with friends. One in the two, one in the bowl, uh, one in the chair, two in the bowl, three waiting. You're, you're, you're anorexic and hooked up to a damn catheter. You're so booked up. You go home at night with multiple personality syndrome. You're like an open wound in a salt mine and you can't even talk to your kids because you're, it's like, you know, the kids are saying mommy's home, mommy's home. And all you can say is don't touch mommy. Mommy had 15 of her friends today suck her skull. Mommy's got, mommy can't see straight. Mommy's like, she's got, she's twitching here, right? Mommy needs a big tall glass of wine. Mommy needs to be numbed out and watching, you know, the voice. She's so tired or he's so tired. And it's be, and when you look at the book, it's like I did $300 today. If I would have been charging correctly, if I didn't have all these friends, that could have been a $400 or $500 day. So you really, and she look at this. Katie says, I'm so guilty of this. We all are. But Katie, here's the deal. A problem seen is two-thirds solved. So just seeing this and beginning to see the implications of this, it, it gets us ready to do something about it. Now, the other third is not a cakewalk. It takes courage. We need to have the willingness to disobey the fear, to go in and, I call it, pulling the turds out of the punch bowl, right? Cleaning up the mess, uh, reestablishing ourselves with our clients. So what I want to give you is just kind of a, a little tool that I, I always talk about. I got to watch the time here. I got about two more minutes with you. Um, I just love this visual because it really takes the formal, and the casual, and it puts it in a little scale, a little continuum, so that every client you do, every relationship you now can, you can say to yourself, okay, where am I with this relationship? Am I over here where I've got, um, I'm doing uh, very little, if any, formal, because it, when, I, when I'm formal, it's feeling creepy, and all of my time is in casual. And that if, you, if I do that too often, I'm going to get myself in a bunch. And so what we want to begin doing is pivoting. This is what we call changing the conversation. Pivoting. And where we're beginning to, to step out where more of our time is spent in formal and we're spending a little less time on casual. Now, we, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. You don't have to go from this place all the way over here. And I would suggest you don't because especially if you're a long timer, you're going to freak out your clients, your guests. But we can begin to shift 
and change the conversation. As a matter of fact, next week when we get together, I'm going to be talking about giving you some scripts and we'll start, I'll start demonstrating what would that look like if you were going to start pivoting and, and bringing, uh, uh, bringing the conversation back to where you want it to be uh, and re revisiting. We're going to be, I'll give you this thing called the, uh, the reconsult. We've got some script for you. So there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to give you. Now, I'm looking at my watch. I'm already at 21 after the hour, and I don't want to go too much further with you. I want to wreck Laura, you're in the house. What a cool idea. Isn't that cool, Laura? I knew you'd love it. Laura, you love to make big boom boom. Lacey, who are you saying to? Are you saying hi to Randy Kunkel? Is Randy Kunkel in the house? Rand, man, I've been so busy teaching. Give me, uh, I want to make sure you're there. Natalie! Oh, I love you too. I love the scripts, Nat. I'll give you some next week. Melissa, cool and helpful. Yes, Jessica. Brittany, you're the best too. Uh, Naom Gibson, I love it. I love that. I love it that you love it, uh, Naom. So here's what we're going to do next week. Next week, it's going to be Facebook Live number 31. I'm going to give you, this is going to be part two. I want to hang out in this conversation for a few episodes so that we can start cleaning up your pricing, cleaning up the relationships. And if we lose a few clients, we've got social best social media practices to get you clients. As a matter of fact, Randy Kunkel says this to me all the time. He says, Michael, hairdressers have lifelong high ticket guests that they haven't even met yet. So we'll show you how to get high ticket referrals so that we can find out who are the friends that miss being your guests. We're going to have that conversation and to see if they want to start pivoting back to being a little bit more of your guests than your friends. And then those that aren't because they want the friendly discount. I call it the codependent relationship. They depend on you for a deal and you depend on them to be uh, your friend. And we're going to show you how to get out of that. So what do you think of that? Isn't that cool? Don't you love it? So uh, I want to say goodbye to Randy. Thank you. And Melissa says, please do. And Miss L. Lid Wagner, it's always really cool to see you guys. I want to just uh, give it up for you. And... I want to thank uh, Salon Centric. I want to thank uh, L'Oreal Professional Product Division. I want to I want to thank the Summit Salon uh, uh, Business Center. I want to thank State and RDA, uh, the Summit Salons out there. You guys got a home court advantage. And I was telling this to the group I was in. I was in New Jersey uh, on Sunday and Monday, and I said to them, when you watch these Facebook lives and your Summit coach comes in, they can now begin coaching you to what you're learning, right, Jennifer uh, Boutwell? Because Jenny, she's a uh, she's a coach, and now the coaches are coming in and watch these uh, videos on YouTube so that when we get there, we can have more traction. Because no matter how many times you watch it, you need a coach with you in real time to help you to, uh, to uh, push through your own fear, to encourage you. Now, the other thing that uh, I want you to know be be before saying goodbye is that uh, oh, Randy Kunkel, we're telling the truth tonight, baby. I know we are, Rand Man. I'm going to see the Rand Man this weekend. And Jenny says, uh, absolutely, bring him to the next level. Now, if you're a Summit Salon, and it's been a long time since you've seen your coach, can you see where you, I'm, the content that I'm giving you on Facebook Live, and you can watch them on YouTube, that if you had a coach come in and coach your people to this content, it's going to make big boom boom for you. So if it's been a while since you've had a coach, consider it. If you if your coach isn't there anymore and you want to you know start fresh with a new coach, have that conversation. We'd love to have it. And for those of you that are watching tonight and you haven't been to Summit yet, I strongly recommend that you through whether it's your uh, salon sales consultant or getting uh, a summit coach to come in and uh, I, I, they come in and they'll, they'll help you to do a, an assessment. I call them salon assessments, AKA the scorecard. They will fill it out with you in real time where you're not filling it out with you anymore. Who was it? I was talking um, to a couple of consultants a couple of days ago uh, about this uh, in New Jersey where they're now going in and sitting down, helping to fill out the assessment so that they can come into agreement together about the potentiality of the salon. So here we are. What is it? 25 after. I'm a few minutes tardy. I love all you guys. I'm going to end this bad boy like I always end it with um, with my buddy, um, the, the dude that's always hanging out with me. Where art thou? There he is, and uh, he's right. He's right there. Come on, bud. 
Where is you? Here's another oh, face no, the audience no. will never forget. Between oh, the most man. famous Tarzan, I, Mr. I, John I, I I messed that one up. So, but I'll 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 give it to you. Uh, I'll give it to you the next time. Uh, <laughs> I got so much shit going on. I even forget what I'm trying to say. Joni, see you later, my friend. Always good to see you. Natalie, summit equals success. Damn right. And Missy, good to see you. So uh, have good evenings, and um, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on campus. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this bad boy off now because we be done. Where are we? I'm gonna take this off. Like this, and I'm going to, where is it?